Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Chapter 1 of the book of Genesis says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters and God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from heaven from the waters which were above the firmament and it was so and God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day and God said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb, yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God continues to speak into existence. Everything that he speaks Everything that he says appears. I mean, the fish of the sea, the cattle, all those things. Verse 26, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him. Male and female created he them. When he takes the, the dust and forms the man and breathes the breath of life, into him and he becomes a living soul. If it was not enough for us to see that there's nothing that God can't do when he speaks the world into existence, what about when he takes dirt and makes it talk and makes it walk and makes it a living soul? And if you've never experienced in your own life, what about when he saves a soul maybe a sunday morning sunday night wednesday night maybe just a day driving down the highway and god begins to deal with a person and they pray and they are born again and they are excited to tell somebody about that the change that takes place in them only god can do that's his work not ours there's nothing that he can't do Scripture says he cannot lie. He cannot lie because he chooses not to. That is not an attribute of God. He does not sin. There is no sin there. Well, George, he doesn't remember my sin. He doesn't remember your sin because when you are born again, he chooses not to remember that. He doesn't all of a sudden get dementia or Alzheimer's. He chooses not to, to remember that. There's nothing that he can't do. There are some things that he doesn't do. Uh, and sometimes when people pray and they ask for things and they're not brought out the way they think they ought to be and they don't receive those, they think maybe it's because God can't. Well, it's never because he can't. Sometimes he just does not. And I don't have an answer for that because I am not God and I don't see what he sees. 
but I know there's nothing he can't do. There's nothing, no nothing, that my God can't do. He measured the sea in the palm of his hand. The mountain was placed at his command. At the sound his voice the sun came through there's nothing no nothing that my God can do there's nothing no nothing there's nothing that my God can't do miracles and wonders. There's nothing, no nothing that my God can't do. He named every star then he hung them on high the moon spread its light across God's great sky and the same mighty God can take a heart like stone wash it and cleanse it and make it his own. There's nothing, no nothing, there's nothing my God can't do. There's nothing, no nothing, that my God can't do. There's nothing, no nothing, that my God can't do. Lord, I thank you for all you do and all you can do and all you have done. God, I pray that you would bless today, encourage those that hear this to know that if there are things in their life they need or need help with, God, there's nothing you can't do. I pray that you would bless them to take it to you. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. We'll see you Tuesday.